eh, five, four years old. At long last, the battery has ended. <laughs> Kaswa, your traffic love territory is, is free forever. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm not by this video saying that we are taking one step forward and a thousand backwards. No, I have not said that. I haven't. In fact, I don't know anything about this video. It was actually the idea of one Afodela on Twitter, okay? Anyway, guys, welcome to the show. This is Backbridge of City TV. My name is Caleb Kuda. This show is sponsored by Bella Coactive. Stay true to originality. You know, Kaswa people. Now that your traffic god is no more, no. you need to increase the bottles of Belacqua Active you consume. Get more bottles and stay hydrated for your journey. As for Boom Barrier, eh? Boom Barrier Community 25 Dorwenia people, <laughs> your, your, your traffic, no. <laughs> it's a 10 key project. <laughs> Every 24, 24 7. Every one minute to be a now buying bastard name. <laughs> you know, you need a cotton of Belacqua Active to keep you going, you understand. But, guys, sincerely, if you do business on the Adenta Dodua Road and you pay with mobile money, yeah? I am sure by the time the e levy is slapped on you, you know, your temperature will just jump up, jump up. <laughs> you too. You need to get plenty bottles of Belagua active on you because, hey, five, four years old. Come on, you shit. Welcome to the show once again. This is Backpage on City TV. My name is Caleb. Could I, someone once told me that Ghanaians are like women. I said, okay, explain what does that mean. Then the person said, you see, eh, women are complicated. They are difficult. Nothing you do can satisfy them. I said, explain. Then he said, you see, government has announced the abolition of tolls on public roads and bridges across the country. But Ghanaians, they are not happy. Oh, l let me use the right word. He said they are not grateful. But the small 1.7% government has slapped, the e levy government has slapped on the e momo. No? <laughs> hey, all hell has broken loose. In fact, even the toll that was abolished, Krano, the people say, oh, that one, Krano, they don't like it, they are not grateful for it. And they gonna for, gonna for, you 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 no, but I disagreed vehemently. First of all, first of all, it's a compliment to liken Ghanaians to women. That means that Ghanaians are sophisticated and not complicated. It's a compliment to liken Ghanaians to women. That means that Ghanaians, you know, we, we, are, we are analytical and nuanced. We don't just take things on face value. It's a compliment to liken Ghanaians to women. That means that Ghanaians are empathetic but wise. You see, you, you may win the Ghanaians' hat by pulling off some gimmicks here and there, but to keep that hat, you have to be thorough and caring, not just using some terms like, you know, <laughs> when the inquiry itself cannot get inquiry <laughs> to sustain it. You feel me? <laughs> you get it? <laughs> if you don't get it, then forget it. <laughs> okay, so let's start from the toll that uh, this government, um, you know, yeah, the toll. And I believe this is what government believes Ghana can do. The government has abolished all tolls on public roads and bridges. Okay, so that was Finance Minister Ken Oforiata. Happy to see you, sir. The way I look forward to the budget, eh, I have never looked forward to my own birthday or even an exam results like that in my life before. Because, hey, 
Come on, yes, you. And also, you know, ahead of the budget, you know, Joe Jackson told us on point of view with Bernard that Mr. Foriata may be in white kaftan and he may be speaking many Bible verses and all of that, but the quality of the nation's bottom is equal to no freebies. Let me tell you something. Agenda 111. I'll give you a proverb, mm -hmm. an account proverb. It's a quality of the this year, forget it. It is even unfair to expect it. You are serious? Yes. Unless the money is coming from outside, why is the money to build the road? I beg you. Wow. Is that so? I mean, is that why we are moving from digitalization to taxalization? How do you call it? Okay, so, I mean, from what? Ghana can do said no. I was expecting the implementation of the toll abolition like will take effect after Parliament's debate and approval. All right, because that's what Terminator said. Hey, no, we went to bed just to wake up to a letter, and uh, guess who wrote the letter? <laughs> I want to pull the letter for you. <laughs> Guess who wrote the letter? It was Terminator. <laughs> Terminator, what is the problem? <laughs> Terminator has used his letter to demolish <laughs> the toll booths even before parliamentary approval. Hey, two or three years old. No, two or three hours old. <laughs> Terminator, the toll booth, no. No tolerance of the toll booth. <laughs> No, now the thing came at night, so uh, we didn't get Terminator on camera. You understand? I would have loved to play his either, but uh, all we have is his, uh, uh, his letter. And reading the letter, I could feel the emotion and every impulse in the letter. <laughs> so here is me attempting a Terminator for you, okay? Following the presentation of the 2022 budget, hmm? by the Honorable Minister of Finance on behalf of the His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, on Wednesday, November 17, 2021, hmm? the Ministry of Roads of Roads and Highway here by the Let's the cessation, eh? cessation of the collection of road tolls at all locations nationwide. <laughs> Come on, clap for me, clap for me. I'm not try. <laughs> I mean, I force. I try. <laughs> no, it also has a signature beautifully there. It's captured there. Very lovely. <laughs> now come and see the Kaswa traffic. It was your, like your ye, after Terminator's letter. Your, like your ye, so cool, like a boy. Check. <laughs> when City News visited the Kaswa toll boot stretch around 4 years on Thursday, it observed for the first time free flow of traffic, which was unusual, particularly at the time of the morning when there was often huge gridlock. It also noticed that some motorists who were not aware of the directive usually stop in an attempt to pay their tolls, but upon realizing that there were no collectors, they speed off. Hey, hey, Kaswa, Kaswa, you're dead day, you're dead day, I can't see your shouting. What? Traf hey, Kaswa traffic party. Uh, nobody see. <laughs> but you see, this is why some people think Ghanaians are like women. No. We give you toe booths, you say boy. We take the toe booth without the toe, you say boy, 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 boy. Or how do you say boy, 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 boy? The government should have maintained this toll. Because some of us, this toll, this uh, law was implemented before some of us was born. So I believe it should be maintained. But rather, they should put in measures, strategies, technologies that will make people pay and then use the money for what it's supposed to be used for. Okay, but you see, even if all men think women are just impenetrable, and, and hey guys, take it easy, here impenetrable simply means they're hard to please. That's how I'm using it here, right? Take note, take note. Uh huh. Even if that's how you all see it, because we have abolished toll booths, but they don't seem impressed in poor art. This is the nuancing of the data that you all who are carried away by the abolition of the 
toll booths, you know, you are lacking. This is why we are sophisticated. If we can do it electronically, it will serve the purpose very well. And it will even do away with the corruption that people envisage the tollers or the collectors do engage in. It's long overdue. Okay. Nowhere in this world that you are taking money from me, you waste my time in collecting the money. Wow. Wow. Now you see why any modern day leader cannot just take Ghanaians for a ride with some sweet, sweet freebies here and there. This one cry and yet freebies out because while government is flashing roses in our eyes, you know, <laughs> like some lover boy, you know, some people say it is taking our jewelries and uh, our heirlooms in return from behind us. Anyway, while on the toll booth matter, some of the hawkers asked to speak to His Excellency the President. Hello, sir. Yes, see, your compartment to say, Yen fi toha, nana one yard. Medina na who is ya because Papa will be sis to me, whom me who or toha. Yeah, you are hanging a young people for Nanka Nanadia, name money, and contrary and the brand and in real. Honestly, fellow Ghanaians, we have been doing this for the last five years. Don't you know that this is not how to make your request? You want to give ultimatum? Hey, I mean, I mean, when we, the overwhelming majority of the Ghanaian, when the overwhelming majority of the Ghanaian people have already voted for us, <laughs> that's why it's their Trump card. Hey, you have to catch up because now, now, eh, you, you, you really, really have to swallow a bitter pill and a bitter part of the budget. You know? The bitter part of the budget you know, is what I'm about to show you. Watch. Bank transfers, merchant payments, and remotion remittances will be charged at an applicable rate of 1.75%, which will be borne by the sender, except remote remittances, which will be borne by the recipient. <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, for some people, this is not fair because economic Messiah 10 IT guru dear. I mean, that's how Mohammed's, that's Mohammed's name. The name, the, the, no, that's the name Mohammed has given Baumia. He says he's economic Messiah 10 IT guru. I'm sure you remember Baumia too has given him a name. He just called him Tio, T-I-O. <laughs> you remember, Romeo is so mean, I said the incompetent one. <laughs> I hear he has added a new one, I said, Mal, I'm done. <laughs> anyway, people say, Did you mean that? Did you mean that? Yeah, basically, oh, mia, mia, yeah. You are not taxing mobile money, and it is for me, my view and that we should not tax mobile money because mobile money transactions a lot of the people who are using these transactions are very poor people you know someone will get sent five cds or mobile money you why would you want to tax that so sir what's changed i mean is it a fact that is it a case that we don't have poor people and uh, we don't have poor people again we don't have poor people again, or we don't care about them any longer. Is that, is that the case? Which is which? Is, and why sacrifice the digitalization agenda with a taxalization agenda? A few years ago, taxation was described as lazy. A few years ago. Is it still a, a lazy one, though? Is it still lazy? Hmm? The rate is very high, 1.75% is very high. So telcos are taking 1% and then government is going to take 1.7%. That is almost like 3%. I mean, I would prefer to use cash. Hmm. Well, a lot of people are saying they will be carrying more cash around because of the e-levy. But you people, Ghana people, why? You want e-transaction, e-collection. Matisse boy is e sole and e everything without e levy. Who does that? Fire kwechika kra na upe u. You will pay e levy a pet. Obi a bit chia. No, when you make plenty noise, ah, when you make plenty noise, 
we will abolish it around 2023. <laughs> you know, if October 2024. <laughs> no, guys, after this break, I will, I, I, you know, I hear many of you are saying that the e lev you know, it is to generate more revenue for the roads there. So government, it can say e is to generate more revenue for the roads there. Then the demonstration, you know, Demonstration, a Bethlehem Terminator. <laughs> you people, you want to angry Terminator? <laughs> when I return from this break, we will look at that and so many more things. <laughs> All right, welcome from that break. This week, there's this guy who has been very mean on, on Twitter. I almost forgot about him, but I'll get back to that. Last weekend, eh? fight pie for parliament. Eh? You know, see, you know, you see. Okay. So let's analyze the fight small. I like Sticker's strategy, you know. Sticker, no, he adopted the gun man's approach to a fight. He says, <laughs> actually, if you look at the video carefully, his mouth was louder than his fist. It's a quack. Can't me taste him out, Bebona. Sticker is a hard guy, Charlie. Solid MP. He should have gone forward small. Sticker, Kwenim Kakra. So that I will see something small. Sticker, Kwenim Kakra, Kawano Bayo. No, the way the Fia Makba was looking at him, no. No, but, well, yeah, those are MPs. They've apologized and things, I'm told. But what really caused this? A solid MP. Who doubles as a deputy majority leader had a foray into fake news publication. What some people call the yellow journalism. Yeah, he, he wanted to compete with some of the young bloggers in that arena. Uh -huh. In his bid to condemn a people torn and broken by tidal waves, he got an exaggerated picture of sand winning from a different country to say that oh the people are doing sand winning on a massive scale and that's why the sea is tidal waving them as much as it's you know sad and regrettable a development don't want to say shameful <laughs> honorable upon marking has apologized so it's okay and i'm a boy oh you see, the troubling part is, even when government goes to Galamse ravaged areas to do what they call war on Galamse, even though it often exists on media cameras, and when the cameras are not there, we are not really sure what happens. No. They say, oh, we are not against mining. We want responsible mining. We are providing you with an alternative because government knows clearly that the people who got trapped to death in caves, but keep going. Obviously, the dead can't be going. I'm talking about that. You understand? Government no says sebi sebi imperious, so these people are not fools. It is all because of the look of you. That is what is driving them. So even if sand winning is responsible for the tidal waves, what are the alternative livelihood support system that the government is providing to the perpetrators so that they stay away from the sand winning? You understand my point? Who are even the buyers of the sun? Is it the poor people, the same victims? I mean, to blame victims of a natural disaster at the time we travel to a conference on climate change to understand the impact of climate change and tidal waves, it seemed to me a very smart thing to do. But to top it all up, the construction of the sea defense wall, I understand it was not budgeted for in the 2022 budget. I hope it's a lie. Maybe it's an oversight. Maybe we have to do e contribution for the project. It's rather unfortunate, but um, I know this is a listening government. 
the one that we have, you know, even though it dislikes automatons and demonstrations, you know, it will shame all you, the professionals, Jeremias, who are saying the government doesn't care. <laughs> but honestly, the government made Mahama look like a messiah in waiting when he went to see the Agbaja and the people were dancing for him and things. And I'm see me brought down. Anyway, about the demonstrations now. Terminator? Hello? Terminator is on the line. Hello, sir. Hello? It's unreasonable for any individual to think that Ghana or government should build all roads you know, simultaneously at the same time. It's unreasonable. And common sense will tell everybody that government cannot build all roads in Ghana simultaneously. Ah, uh, well, Terminator, looks like we have to be ready for more because uh, according to the people, <laughs> Pa said they will pay the e-levy. Nadia Uros are horrible, dear. Anger, they will do them more. They say it to over you. <laughs> one district, one dam. One musha. Dam na. They can't want some. One district, one dam. No. We man just be hungry. No. We must be on the other side. No. I can't do some more. It's a hand on the tilapia. A hand on the tilapia. It's up at tilapia. We man just be hungry. Road. Now be tilapia. One district, one dam. And in the yard, 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 yard. The one I stop. But I don't. <laughs> no, seriously, this one is e demo, <laughs> digital demo. Did you see the skills over there? <laughs> I like it. I think this is what the IGP wanted Francis Javier, Sosu Xavier, or Sosu Xavier to do. But he, you know, he went to do analog demo because at this point they don't understand the digitization, right? <laughs> now. They arraigned him for court, but the speaker said, "Mi banu onifye a bestia alaba na mala famo." That is what the speaker will say. Nobody saying that the member of parliament is above the law, or parliament is above the law. No. But in this particular instance of the member of parliament for Medina, I can put my neck for it that you have no such power after he's gone through all the processes with you and you gave the date and you send your men to go around with them in the procession then he's addressing them at the end of the day then you send a different contingent to go to arrest him whilst he's talking to his constituents that is obstruction and article 122 is very clear on that that it constitutes contempt how can that be said to be a speaker preventing a member of parliament from being arrested. Ah, so so no the house, but before we say no, before we go say Jack, so so get a parliament, I get a homo, get him. If I'm served, I would be there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, it's new pan pan on top. <laughs> well, I really can't wait to see the end of this story because the truth is, seriously, we have a lot of serious 419 problems to deal with. Wait, oh, did I say 419? No, sorry. I meant 499. Now, good thing is, well, if you don't know, this is it. If you've not heard, this is it. This is it. Watch. He has decided to admit the 499 students subject to some modalities as to when these students will commence the course. That's great news. That's refreshing, honestly. And if, if there is anything the 499 is teaching us as a people, it is that if we want the toll back, but in a form of e-toll, where there will be no trafficker. Our voices and actions can get it done. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> if we want the E levy gone to R, if we want it gone, we can have it. That's what I'm going to say. Now, side check of one, I'm going to show you this is the part you have to pay attention. This is the time you have to come together, form association. 
organize press conference and embark on demonstrations because hey, he left, you know. More. <laughs> it will affect you people the most, I'm telling you. <laughs> so learn from Kaswa people and fight for your rice and stew because we have to benchmark the distance. Yeah, we have to benchmark it. You get it? You don't get it? Okay, if you don't get it, forget it. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs>